Hello friends, this is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had created this project Hello Spring and BC Web App and this is a completely Java based configuration. Uh, so here we did not use any XML file like web.xml or dispatcher servlet.xml uh, that is also called uh, Spring Web Configuration File. So all metadata we have configured in these two configuration files. And as, as I said in previous video tutorial, there are a couple of ways to implement this class, right? So if you look into the latest uh, Spring API, so this uh, servlet initializer which basically extends web application initializer and we have uh, written a lot of plumby code over here. So there are a couple of ways to write this class. Again, this is the basically replacement of uh, dispatcher servlet.xml and this is the replacement of web.xml here basically we have extended this class right so this is an abstract class right which has a lot of methods this method does not do anything in the super class right so if you want to do some kind of customization then this method you can override in your class and you can uh, write uh, some code right so like we have a va get validator so if you do some kind of validation and if you want the validation object to be returned then this method you can override and there are many more methods you can see uh, you can go and explore it but here we are not doing anything over here right with this uh, we are not overriding any method uh, which belongs to this super class so here we can remove this class completely uh, still this class this configuration class would be valid first modification in the class which is equivalent to web.xml right now next uh, we have uh, this class so this class there are a couple of more ways to implement this class so this is the first way uh, there are a couple of ways to implement this class this is the first way this code plumbing code i'm gonna remove and now instead of implementing uh, i would like to find a class is called so just copy this code and press ctrl shift and try to search a class is called uh, something is called uh, a class class name is uh, it's a very huge name and I have forgotten so let me remind this class so that class is basically abstract annotation something is called abstract annotation uh, I was talking about this class abstract annotation config dispatcher servlet initializer so this is a abstract class now i'm going to uh, refactor this class so i'm going to extend my this class servlet initializer with this class and if you look into this class this class basically extends another class again this class extends another class and this class finally implements this web application initializer and previously we were implementing this interface so now instead of implementing this interface uh, our this class which basically equivalent to web.xml that is going to extend this abstract class and in that case this class is having some abstract method in that case you will have to override these methods so i saw a lot of projects people are using this approach and this up this is very easier to write the code as well so first method saying that root uh, config uh, root uh, config classes so as of now we are not going to make any modification in this just return the null value as it is and second get servlet config classes right and third is the uh, so here uh, basically we'll have to specify the configuration class so we'll have to write new and classes array and here basically you need to specify the your configuration file so our con only one configuration file we have if you have more than one configuration file then you can specify as array over here right now second thing we are going to uh, return a uh, string array there you can specify the different kind of url pattern so we have a currently only slash url pattern if you want to specify more than one url pattern then this is a array right a string of array and array we can initialize like this also right so that's it and we are almost done and this is the second way to write uh, this servlet initializer class right which is a replacement of our web.xml after doing this modification let me run this project 
and see we are getting the proper output or not so great we got the output that means whatever modification we have done that is perfectly fine right so uh, if you would not have watched my previous video tutorial then I request you to go and watch because uh, some of the files I haven't explained in this uh, project right so if you look into the lib uh, folder then uh, we have uh, all dependent jars over here right and if you look into the views inside the views folder we have a web welcome page JSP file and that is basically displaying a message simple message this message is coming from the our controller class right uh, we have a controller is called uh, hello world controller which is having a two request handler method first method is having the URL pattern as uh, slash uh, here we do not have URL pattern so this will take the URL pattern of class label and second method is having the URL pattern as welcome again and both is having a get method right so and now uh, here uh, this these two request handler method returns basically an object of model and view and we have used a constructor of model and view basically which takes first parameter logical view name second parameter is the model name and third parameter is the model object itself and model object is nothing but that this makes call to the service layer and this service layer basically which we have annotated as a direct service is having the two basically two methods which returns the basically simple string right and uh, these two controller basically makes the call to the corresponding methods basically right so it's a pretty straightforward example right so here basically we have a, a, a servlet initializer which is almost equivalent to replacement of web.xml second we have a web config config.xml which is the basically replacement of uh, web config spring web configuration file most of the time you name directory uh, spring dispatcher server.xml something like that right so this is the replacement of that class only here we have created our internal resource view resolver object and we have a specify a view class as JSTL view so that's what we required a JSTL to be present in your leaf folder and we have specified the prefix and suffix right so these are the things basically uh, we specify in the spring web configuration file and uh, if you would have watched my uh, spring based uh, uh, hello uh, hello uh, world uh, uh, web application then these two package we have registered as a for uh, the auto scanning right so if you have xml file then basically uh, you, 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 sh you must have a context namespace and context column component scan and base package you uh, will have to assign these two packages right right so those things are now these things move into the java configuration file and this annotation basically enable a wave mbc basically represents this makes enable the spring mbc modules in your application and this uh, just we have created a method which we have annotated as at the rate bean so this bean which we have explicitly created and just we are hand over to the container spring container so that a spring will be aware about this bean right so that's the main thing about this method right so i hope you understood this uh, this uh, project so so now you don't have any xml file in this uh, project so this is completely java based configuration a spring mbc and uh, previously we had written uh, a similar application right uh, and there also first in first application uh, we had no xml as well but uh, implementation of this class was totally different now in this scenario we have a different right so this code i am going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description if you have any doubts then please let me know just you can uh, post any queries or questions or any if you find any improvements in my youtube channel then those kind of suggestion also you can uh, post in uh, below to the video so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial